So I was going to do a video on testing these shower pumps. These are built into some trotting units. They're like a universal motor using brushes. Obviously AC. So basically to test them, if you have a look, the spring contacts the electrical contactor for the winding and then that passes it through the end this end of the spring into the brushes and then in obviously through the commutator so by having that clip there there's no electrical contact from the windings through the commutator so we're just testing the windings so I'm going to test both windings so I'll put that in view You see that? So that's one side of the windings, it's 19 ohms. If you can see that, 19 ohms. And flick it over. Roughly 19 ohms again, so both similar readings, so that's pretty good. To test the uh, actual rotor, you need to, if you have a look, on the commutator, there's little segments. Basically, you have to test in between each of them, like that. So between one and the other, all the way around. So I'll just bring the uh, meter into view. So you want to mark them as you go, try a little bit, so that's six, then move on to the next one, that one's four, it's a bit of a difference but, well it's four now, so move on to the next one, you've got to get a good grip on them, it's hard to do, Best if you removed it, but I don't fancy like stripping down the old motor. Probably best to clean that up first. I'll just clean that up and then I'll come back. Well, let's try that again. I ain't got no steel wool here, so I can't really clean it very well. So 4.2 on that one. 6.4. Four point four, six point six. They all should be roughly about the same, but you get the picture. This one works, so that's basically all you have to check. Check the size of the brushes. They're about a quarter worn. Obviously, if it ain't pumping, it could be something internal. You can actually.